On this episode of Garage Noise, we're gonna talk about budget paint guns like this one. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this gun and why this gun may be perfect for you. We're also gonna paint this quarter panel with this budget gun. I'm gonna take you through step by step the blending procedure, the painting procedure, and the clear coat and how to set up your gun properly. A lot of information in this video. It's gonna be worth the tuition. And if you wanna pay your tuition, start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell so you don't miss anything. So this is the Astro Pneumatic Euro Pro HE paint gun. It's made by Astro. I wanna tell you a little bit about this gun. The first thing I noticed about this gun, when I took it out of the box, the thing I love about this gun is it's lightweight. It's very lightweight. I mean, it's a noticeable difference from my other guns gun. It's got a 1.3 tip, which is perfect for a good all around tip for clear coats or for base coats. It's got a huge fan pattern on it. So the HE stands for high efficiency. That supposedly it's gonna be, have a better transfer of paint and clear coat. Have I really noticed a big difference on that? No, I have not. But I have to tell you the gun sprays very well. And the one thing, uh, a couple things I really love about this gun is the fact that it's lightweight, is the fact that it's nimble, is the fact that it's simple. There's not a lot of uh, rubber seals or plastic seals on this. This has a quick release uh, cap, uh, three turns out. But you notice there's no plastic rings in here there's no plastic washers nothing that can really go bad it's just a simple design that sprays and atomizes very well see so what is the price of this gun this gun comes in at 105 dollars which in my opinion is a tremendous bargain it's a perfect gun for diy painters because you're not going to spend five to eight hundred dollars for a top of the line gun but you are going to get a spray quality that is very similar to those guns. You could go out and get a gun from Harbor Freight. They sell guns for $10 and that's gonna spray fine once. If you got just one project to do and you want it, and you need to get a spray gun, buy a cheap paint gun at Harbor Freight. It'll spray once, great, but it's not gonna last you. But if you're a serious DIYer and you wanna do more of these type of projects on your own vehicle and you know that you're gonna do that in the future. It might not be a bad idea to invest a little bit more money and get a gun that's gonna last you for a lot longer. And I think this would be the gun. You don't wanna spend five to $800 on a gun, but a hundred bucks, that might be worth it for you. You have to make that decision yourself, but I just wanna give you the information that I have on this gun. I've been using it for three months. I have had no problems with it. And the transfer efficiency is great. The finish is great. And I believe the quality of this gun, it's well built. And like I said, very lightweight and nimble. So without further ado, let's go ahead and spray this panel. Let me talk about what we're gonna do here. The first thing we're gonna do is wipe this down with wax and grease remover to clean this. Now I've already done that, but I'm gonna go over it again. We're gonna wipe it down. That'll remove any contaminants so they don't get trapped in your paint or under your clear. Before we paint, start spraying colors we're going to lay down a wet bed on this quarter panel we're going to spray the entire quarter panel and what that will do is put down a blending agent over the entire panel that's going to allow these high metallic finishes such as gold or silver to lay down flat so now let's talk about setting this gun up properly to spray the blending agent and then to spray the paint this is the volume control here or fluid control. This controls the amount of fluid or paint that comes out of the gun. I would start with two and a half turns out. That's what I always start with. It's not gonna give you too much volume and you can adjust from there, okay? So I've turned this two and a half turns out. This is your fan pattern. That's the pattern that comes out of the gun. If you turn it down this way, that's gonna narrow the pattern. If you turn it all the way the other way, that's gonna open the pattern wide open. So I'm gonna turn this wide open. That's where I want it. Um, typically, that's where I have it set. Unless I'm spray painting 
a small part or somewhere where I need to get into a small area. The next thing you want to set up is your air pressure regulator. This is your air pressure regulator and that regulates the air pressure that's going to the gun. I will set this for this gun and it may vary and you may be able, you may want to change it as you go along. We'll talk about that in a minute, but set it at 25 PSI. Now, if you start to spray and your distance is you're doing four to, four to five inches away, your spray pattern is wide open and all your settings are correct, like I just said, and your technique is correct, four to five inches away, overlapping 60%, and you're noticing that it's not medium to wet finish, then open up the volume a little bit. You may have to adjust the air pressure accordingly. If you open up the volume, you may need a little bit more air pressure. So let's go ahead and put the uh, wet bed on this. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is I want to tell you a little bit about this repair. This is a budget repair for the customer. So typically what I would do is to paint this and then blend into the trunk, blend into the bumper. Also, I repaired this quarter panel, which really needed to be replaced. But I'll flash up a picture on the screen now to show you what it looked like before I repaired it. Okay, now the wet bed's on. I did turn up the volume just a little bit so some more material was coming out. Uh, I turned it up to three. Three turns out, I'm probably gonna go three and a half for the color. So, we're gonna let this flash off a little bit and then I'm gonna put the first coat of base on. Or the first coat, coat of color. And I will be blending, basically just covering the primer and I'll blend out just a little bit but I'll show you how I blend uh, on the second and third coat. Okay, so I'm gonna start a little bit of the blend. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start spraying off the pan out here and then and then get closer to the panel here. So I'm gonna start spraying out here, turning my gun, and that lets it land in the wet bed and cover the primer as well.
Okay, so there's the first coat. And you can see the finish. You see the finish is really nice. It's about got factory orange peel, but I'm gonna hit it a little heavier the next time, flow it out just a little bit better on the flow coat. So let's let this flash off for 10 minutes and then we'll spray the second coat on. Okay, so take a look at this finished product. It has a nice shine, nice gloss. The gun really did the job and you can do this at home. If you want more information about how to build your skill and increase your knowledge, start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell and check out these other videos. They'll give you more information on how to do paint and body repair. We'll see you next time.